What's the matter? Is there anything you want to tell me? Anything at all? I, I, I don't think so. Because you can, Roy. Whatever it is, you can always tell me. Well, there isn't anything. Oh, I, except... Uh, no, I've told you that, haven't I? About the new floor covering in the cafe. I'm not talking about floor covering. Is there anything you want to tell me about us? Morning. Morning, Gail. I'm just off. Bye. Mm. Everything all right? Uh, it's the tenth today, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. No, no, just Haley seems a bit put out. I'm uh, wondering if I've missed an anniversary. But I um, can't think what of. Oh. Right. Hey, there's new management. For now. Anyway, this Mr. Fairhurst is coming to see me and the house. But you don't want him seeing me. Don't worry, he won't. Well, it's just <laughs> that he might not like it if I've got a lodger. Well, I shan't come home until you put a banner up saying it's OK, he's done. <laughs> okay, see, see you yeah. later. I said we could go out later if you like. Yeah, uh, whenever it suits you. Well, are you sure you still want me to come round? Yeah, of course I am. No, but you've got this person coming to check on everything. They're checking and looking after the kids, OK? Not my private life. Really? Hang on. Have you had it out with him? <sighs> Who is she? I have no idea. He hasn't said anything yet. Oh, you have nasty. him. Well, no, I thought I'd give him a chance to tell me without me having to. Oh, Ailey. Under new management? Well, I did know about it, to be honest, but anyway, never mind me. Here's the fella who can tell you. Hello, Art. Hello, little Darren. Hello, Big Fred. She wants to know why it says under new management outside your shop. Cos it's not my shop anymore. I am no longer the proprietor. Somebody else has taken over. In fact, I was coming to ask, would you like to wander across with me and see how they're getting on? Well, could we do it later when I'll have finished this lot? All right, then. Yes, well, I've got to go to the abattoir, so I'll pop in later. Right. Bye, little Sharon. Bye, big Fred. Hey, Fred, yes. them that's bought it, it is them you were expecting to. Desai, yes. Who? Desai. Ravi Desai. I've been told that he's been in Weatherfield for 20-odd year. Mind you, I'm not sure that it's him so much as his daughter. I. You must do it your own way. I intend to. I mean, what do I know? Only been behind a counter since I was eight. Owned my first shop when I was 19. Dad, you promised you'd keep out. Then why all this? Why under new management? What are you trying to do? Put people off? Stop them from coming in? No. Because that's all you will do. People don't like change. Oh, morning. Good morning. Business as usual. Would you like a cup of coffee or a glass of wine? Oh, thank you. I, I, I'll just do some shopping first. OK. <laughs> thank you. You know best, don't you, Nita? And there's one thing I don't know. And what's that? Where's that idiot brother of mine? He was supposed to be here an hour ago. Like he was supposed to be at university. Like he was supposed to be at the private college I sent him to. <laughs> oh, morning. Morning. Business as usual. Nita. I know you weren't too keen to take him on. I don't mind taking him on. I just want him to be here. But he's not here, so now what are you going to do? I know what I'd like to do, and that's sack him. But you can't do that, because he's your brother. Mm. And what's more, he knows it. <laughs> oh, morning. Business as usual. You see, people think it's so easy to be the boss until they have to do it. I wondered if you could fit me in for a haircut. Uh, yes, well, I am free at the moment. Would you like to come and sit down? <laughs> no, when I said you, I meant your shop. But I was really thinking about... Uh... Hi. Hi. Can you give me a haircut? Uh, yeah, of course I can. No, you can't. She's fully booked. But you're free? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So why don't you take over her clients and let her attend to me? Uh, would you like to just sit down? We'll see what we can do. Martin! Hi. Do you know where I'm going? No. To a funeral. Of the old chap I told you about who was in the home and died. Mainly because no one was looking after him. So can I ask you again, Audrey? Will you please do something about it? Martin, I'm not sure what I can do. There's lots you can do. You've got clout. Just use it for once, can't you? Audrey, um, 
Do you want to swap clients? Is that the idea? <sighs> Might be his idea. It's not mine. Go on. Let's just please. Oh. If it means that much <laughs> to you, go on. Um, do you want to come this way? Love to. I feel as if I've regressed. Gone back to being 13 when she used to shout at me for coming home from school with ink stains on my frock. <laughs> oh, she's got a great deal of character. Oh. Well, if you mean she's bossy and cantankerous, then uh, yes, I agree with you. Hello? Oh, hi, it's me. How are you? Oh, OK. Just having a coffee with Emily. Oh, right, right. Uh, no, only uh, I've just been talking to our daughter. Yeah, yeah, she rang and wanted to talk. Nothing the matter, is there? No, 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 it's just that, uh... Look, I, I couldn't meet you later on and put you in the picture, could I? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll call round after work. Great, great. Only, uh, don't tell Blanche, otherwise she'll think I've got an ulterior motive. <laughs> don't worry, I'll tell her nothing. OK, see you later. Bye. I, I must let you get on. No, no, you're all right. I'm not doing work till this afternoon. Oh, that was Ken. Wants me to call around later. Only, uh, I haven't to tell Blanche. Oh. You see, she's got us both at it. Behaving like a couple of guilty teenagers. There we are. Oh, thank you very much. Right, well, cheers and good luck. Is this going to be a regular feature? Oh, no, it's just for today. What a shame. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Thank you. Oh, excuse oh. me a second. Sure. Hi. Hiya. And where do you think you've been? Getting to know the neighbours, networking. Not working, more like. First day here, and what do you do? Leave me on my own. You're not on your own. Dad's here. Yeah, and don't I know it. I'd rather be on my own than have Dad watching me. Well, you make up your mind. Either you want to be on your own, or you don't want to be on your own. I want you to... I'll just get lost. You see, I walk in the door, she tells me to get lost. You're lucky she didn't mean it. <laughs> lucky to be working in a place like this. You're lucky to be working anywhere. But give her some help. From what I've seen, she needs it. Right, here we are. Ah. And here's Ravi. <laughs> Ravi Desai wants taken full advantage of my good nature and bought this place for a song. A song and a half. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mrs Rita Sullivan. She, she's got the news agents across the road. Mm. Hello. Delighted to meet you, madam. Thank you, and it's nice to meet you. And this is my son Vikram. How do you do? Hello. You've not altered much, apart from shifting it all more. That was an improvement long overdue. <laughs> Give us a chance. It's early days, Fred. <laughs> exactly. This is day one. Come back on day 100. Yeah. Ah. Hello, Mrs Sullivan. Hello, love. Ignore these two. I'm the one actually running the shop. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> these are just my staff. At least for the time being, anyway. So I wouldn't take too much notice of what they might have to say. <laughs> to tell you the truth, they haven't either of them got a clue. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, thank you for putting me straight. Right, well, thanks for the wine You're and welcome. the very best of luck. Oh, well, now, well, if you. you want to know who had the shot before you, here's the man to ask. Well, I'd rather you didn't. Well, I mean, I go back to a lady called Maggie Clegg, but he can go further back. Well, I'll admit to Flory Lindley, but that's my limit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go to Rafa's then? Nearest, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I'll bother today. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey, you're going to tackle right. I thought I'd give him another chance to explain. Yeah. Well, make sure he does this time. Just tell him what you saw. Then he'll have no choice, will he? He'll have to tell you. What? You actually saw him with this other woman, yeah? We only saw her open door. Yeah. Like it's a regular thing. Like he's round there every night. I don't know how you've kept quiet. I'd have killed him by now. Me and all. Yeah, well, I'm not going to keep quiet. Not any longer. <laughs> About. And I know you're going to tell me you're busy, but I don't care. I've got to. Right, well, well, just hang on a minute. So they've sacked you? You can call it what you like. My services are not required anymore. What a shame. Well, I feel guilty about shopping there now. Nay, no, they're within their rights. It's their shop. They can employ who they like. Gail, can you just hold the fort? I might need to speak to him. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> Nothing wrong, is there? Who was that woman you went to see last night? And don't tell me there wasn't one, because I know there was. Uh, no, no, but... Roy! I th somebody saw you going into her house. 
So was she. Yes, but she wasn't just a woman. Who? She, well, she was... And, and, and you'll tell me that I shouldn't have, but, but, but this kind of thing it just terrifies me. For crying out loud, are you going to tell me you're not? I've been having... I've been having lessons. Dancing lessons. For Sunday. Disco dancing. I'm embarrassed to have to tell you. I was determined you was never to know. Dancing lessons? Really? Yes. I'm still no good. And do you know what I've been thinking? What? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Very nice. Just needs another one to keep her company. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Nita, my darling. You don't have to put up with your brother longer than you want to. I can always find him something else to do. Dad, you're too soft. Perhaps. He's better off with me. I'll make him work. Ah, neat, am I, darling? I am very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I'm proud of him, too. Why? I don't know. You will one day. I hope so. <laughs> but don't overdo it. Make sure that he does his share. I will. Bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> See you later, Vikram. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Oh, is that your daddy then? Yeah. Oh, isn't it nice, kids, when you've got family that acknowledge you? I mean, except in court when they have to. Now, what I need to go with this is a ciggy. Can I have a hundred of them? A hundred of... Well, you see, I've left me purse in the house, so throw it on the slate, kid. Uh, know what I'm saying, love? Sorry, I'm afraid we don't give credit. Now, come on, then. Sorry. Do you know how long I've been shopping here now? Eighteen years. Yeah. 18 years and I've always had credit. Always. Not anymore. Oh, well, please yourself then, love, but I feel like I've got to tell you, that's no way to attract custom. There's always other shops, you know. Then go to other shops. Hmm. Well, you're the boss. But well, it seems to me if she's been shopping here for 18 years, a few pounds of credit wouldn't have done too much harm. Vikram, she's been coming here for three months. Prior to that, she was in jail. Yeah? Yeah, Maud told me. You stick to pouring the drinks, and I'll make the policy decisions. OK. He admitted he went, and that he'd been before. And you want to know why? I'd have thought that were obvious. With dancing lessons. This woman, all she's been doing is giving him dancing lessons. Oh, what a relief for you. It were a bit. <laughs> dancing lessons? Mm. What, in her house? And you believe him? Of course I believe him. Well, good for you. What, you think he's lying? I think anyone were lying who told me they were having dancing lessons in some woman's house. It's not a very original excuse, love. But we are having a dance, aren't we? You can't deny that. No, no, no. we're, we're not, not doing. doing. Well, Roy don't normally go to dances, so he's nervous, so he's having lessons. Else you could say that it's cos there's a dance coming up that's giving him the excuse. Yeah. I mean, if we were going ten pin balling, he'd be having lessons for that. In her front room? Or should I say bedroom? No. No, Roy wouldn't lie to me. Oh, they all lie. It's in the genes. When that woman came to the door, did she look like a dance teacher to you? How are we dance teachers supposed to look? Not like that. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. So, uh, what's all this about Tracy? Well, I don't think there's anything to panic about, but uh, we were just chatting, and I asked her how she was, and the next minute she was sobbing her heart out. Oh, no. I don't think it's anything serious. You know, she just had one or two rounds with Robert. Don't ask me what about, you know, nothing that matters but the sound of it. And she wanted to know, was this normal family life, you know, falling out all the time? So, I said... Yeah, it was, and that was when she burst into tears. Oh, I'll ring her. No, I think she'd, uh, I think she'd rather you did it when Robert was out. Which she will be after seven tonight, apparently, goes to some sort of night school. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm doing my famous corned beef hash. You're very welcome. No, no, you're all right. Oh, go on, then. Why not? I, just as long as... I don't tell Blanche. Exactly. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, then. Bye, Gail. Bye. Bye. So, Lou, uh, got any lessons tonight, then? Lessons? Oh, no, not tonight. 
tomorrow? Uh, yes. You got 10p? Uh, 10, yes. Thanks. Uh. I, uh, just thought you might like to show me what she's taught you. You know, give me a preview, like. I mean, after all, if I'm going to be dancing with you, I'm going to have to know the moves, aren't I? I, I, I don't think I can. Well, not in here. Come on. No, 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 really. So, what's the point in having lessons, then, if you still can't dance? Well, I, I've still got a couple of lessons to go. Is that really what you've been doing? Having dancing lessons? Yes, well, you don't think I'd say something like that if it wasn't true. Then show me. I can't, not in here. You have to be in her house. I suppose I do, yes. Well, we can't be that bad if Tracy still wants to talk to us. You still talk to your mother? No. I nod and I listen and I say yes, but I couldn't talk to her about anything that matters. Honestly, I couldn't. I'd rather confide in a total stranger. <laughs> she wouldn't knock. She'd just march straight in. Can't. Hasn't got a key, has oh. she? Well, look, don't tell her I'm here. What am I talking about? Of course you'll have to tell her. Don't tell her I've eaten. Oh, grandmother. No, I, I thought you might appreciate a warning. I've just had Blanche round, wondering where Deirdre is. All right. I suppose your house is about the one place she hasn't thought of, but she's bound to eventually. We'll draw the curtains. Thanks, right. Emily. <laughs> Bye. Don't oh, 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 look. Kevin's little friend come to tuck him in. Hey, now. Hey. Has he not given you a key yet? All right. So, do you want a photograph or something? Do you want us to wait here while you go and get a camera? We don't need a photo. We've got all the evidence we need. Oh, uh, come on, the <laughs> pair of you. Oh, <laughs> Just ignore them. I shouldn't have come, should I? Not the night before you're going to have your interview. I've told you. All that's about is, is providing a home for Rosie and Sophie. It's got nothing to do with me and you, and Sally knows it. She's just trying to wind you up. But they might think it can't be a right good home for children if you've got girlfriends calling all the time. I haven't got girlfriends calling all the time. I've got you, which is what's going to make this a good home for the kids, for all of us. Come here. Well, she's there all the time. You saw her going in tonight. Sally, that's his private life, which I'm sure they'll say he's entitled to, just like you're entitled to yours. Well, it might be his private life, but it's taking place in the house where he wants to bring up my children. I'm not having it with you. I'm going to go around and tell them. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just feel a bit fluey, you know. Why don't you have a toddy? Mm, yeah, I might. And how old is she, anyway? Early 20s? Don't need any more children, does he? He's got her. <sighs> So every day is a day off now, then, Maud. I suppose I shall get used to it. Mm. You want to be careful, though. You need your job. You've got a wife and children. Oh, no, what I really need is a bit of help from someone that's in a position to give it. If they could just think about other folk instead of themselves. Hi, right, then, Audrey. Oh, all right. Good night, Martin. In case you were wondering, funeral went off all right. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah. good, right. He's still trying to get me to do something about that place he works at. No need. I've had words with General Lickley, my fellow square dealer, and you have now to worry about. Oh. Ah, now! There you are. Yeah. I didn't think you'd be allowed to drink, and you religion forbid it. Eh? What, you think I'm a Methodist? Can I get you another one of those? Yeah, please. I wanted to hide. Honestly, I nearly hid under the table. Mm, we might still have to. But you've locked the door. Front and back. <laughs> you know, you would think that when you grew up, you'd be able to look your parents in the eye and deal with them like ordinary, normal human beings. Yeah, well, it doesn't happen like that. So your parents are not normal human beings. <laughs> well, mine isn't. I know that. <laughs> oh, hello, Maud. So, how's today gone? Not too bad. You know, learning all the time. Well, look. I brought you a card to wish you good luck, though I don't suppose you'll need it. You're a very capable young woman. Mm, but not a very nice one. Well, 
after the way I pretended to be your friend and then sacked you when I didn't need you anymore. Well, that's one way of looking at it. But I didn't know you were pretending. I wasn't. And as for giving me the sack, I it's time somebody did. Let me have a bit of time to myself. But we are still friends, aren't we? Oh, I do hope so. Um, a lager and a pineapple juice, please. Right. I hope you don't mind me ringing you. I just didn't know who else to talk to. No, love. You ring me any time. Besides, I'm glad I excused to get out. Right. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'll just go and have a bath and then have an early night. You two carry on. See ya. See you later. Take care, love. <sighs> Ew. I don't think we'll be seeing her at work tomorrow. They're not going to see me either. I'm going to be cleaning that house like it's never been cleaned since the day it was built. So you live on your own, then? By choice, yeah. How about you? Well, I'll live at home, but that's only temporary. And helping my sister in the shop, but that's, that's only... That's only temporary. Temp <laughs> yeah, and the pain. But sometimes, you know, you have to help your family out. And other times, you have to think about what you want. I asked him, how did he get onto this woman? He said, through an advert in paper. I said, oh, can I see it? No, he's thrown it away. I even asked him to dance, show me what he's learned, but he wouldn't do that. Well, it's not sounding right good, is it? A week ago, I would have said that Roy Cropper was the most honest man there was. But now I feel as though I'm ever going to be able to believe another word he says. And is he going to be seeing this woman again? He says he's got two more lessons. Right. Well, there's only one way to sort it. You've got to follow him like we did before. Only this time, instead of stopping outside, you've got to get in there and see for yourself what's going on. <laughs>